Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the Red Python channel. Today we will create a fake portal like Facebook portal, Twitter, Google portal, login, whatever. So on these hotspots, users will authenticate and we will be able to gain access to their credentials. Now go to manage modules and make sure to install the evil portal. Now go to the evil portal module here, make sure to start it. To begin with, it will be empty. You can create a basic website. You can put any name here and create portal, but this portal will be basic. So now we are interested in like social networking websites such as Google, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Here I have installed Facebook login. To do that, go to the GitHub link here. It's github.com slash kbeflo slash evil portals and download this set of portals here. I will just show you the set of portals. Just download the zip file and extract it. And it has lots of evil portals, Facebook, Google, Starbucks, Twitter, etc. Now, for the sake of this demo, I have uploaded Facebook portal to the Wi-Fi pineapple. So how to do that? You have to install WinSCP. So install WinSCP. Let me go and close that here and try to connect with you guys. So install WinSCP in order to transfer the files. So this is the Wi-Fi pineapple. This is the host name of the Wi-Fi pineapple. SSH port number. File protocol is secure FTP. Put your username and password and connect. Now, after you connect, just you can easily upload your files from the installed or downloaded zip file, the extracted one to the pineapple Wi-Fi. So where to upload them, you need to go to, to root and then portals and upload the folder here. So once you do that, you go again to the portal of Wi-Fi pineapple evil portal, just refresh and you'll have Facebook login here. Just make sure to press on the activate button. Now drill down, press on that and go to the live preview. This is what the users will see when they authenticate to the rogue access point. So you can do that as a hotspot so that users will have access to the internet once they put the credentials of their Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts, Google accounts, whatever. So we're ready. I think I'll just connect my iPhone to this rogue access point. Again, the rogue access point that I've created is the same one that we have used earlier in the videos. It is here again free where is that free wi-fi to all so from my mobile i will connect to free wi-fi to all the facebook page will open now i'll just sign in i'll just put random hotmail or random username and password and we'll sign in just log in as simple as that now where are those credentials those credentials can be viewed here in under the logs column so click on view and you'll be able to see the email and the password that i have used from my phone that has been connected to the rogue access point you can do the same for the other social media website as we said such as google starbucks even yahoo etc 